Okay, I'm just going to show you guys my uh, foil collection of magic cards I've collected over the years. I was going to show my other collection, but I want to show you guys my foils first. Pretty much organize them just by color. That's a foil to Enlightened Tutor. It's a good card. Some of them are crap. Some of them are, I think, look nice. It's a F and M circle of red, uh, protection of red. I have a lot, so I'll get through this as quick as possible. I used to love this card back in the day during onslaught zombies. It was fun. Sky Hunter Skirmisher, good card. Uh, I played for about six years or so. I've been playing since um, Plane Shift, actually. Well, technically, I've been collecting since Urza Saga, but uh, when I bought Urza, there was no one around to play with, so I have a lot of old cards, too. I have about 35,000 cards over a pan span of six to eight years of playing. It's ridiculous. Cruel Edict, foil. It's pretty hard to get. It's a fun card. Innocent Blood. This card is fun. I love uh, Mono Black Suicide. It was one of my favorite type of uh, deck builds back in the day. I have some foreign cards too, like some uh, Korean, Japanese. Uh, I like foreign cards because they're cheaper and I think they look cooler than English cards in foil. Plus, when you play them, they're like, what the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. True Magic player would know it just by looking at the picture. Upheaval. Foiled uh, Japanese upheaval. Foiled Traumatize. I love this card. Raven Guildmaster. I broke this card so many times in uh, mill decks. Blue white control mill decks with uh, meddling mage and a whole bunch of stuff. Sorry, the camera gets foggy sometimes. Uh, the Fedo Alchemist used him in uh, my stick chant deck. Another blue white deck. Those are my favorite colors actually. Blue white control. Fabricates, foil. These are all foiled cards. Yeah, this page is kind of junk. Some of the Ravnica stuff. I used to not collect foils um, back in the day. I used to trade them all, but after I saw how they look and stuff, I started collecting them again because I really liked them. I sold a lot of my land foils. I had like Oh god, 500 foiled lands, basic lands, it's insane. I had too, too much foiled lands. I traded them all for like some foiled rares. Foiled Eternal Witness, it's really nice. A lot of people wanted that from me. Foiled Bird of Paradise in the Utopia tree. Not as good as a bird, but it still looks nice in foil. Foil naturalized from Onslaught. And this, this might, I, I think it's impressive for me because um, some of these are, were really hard to trade for or hard to get. And this page is crap. Shrapnel Blast is about the best thing there. Like I said, I traded a lot of good foils and uh, I got some pretty good foils too. I had about another binder full of these. These are mostly the new Ravnica foils that I have. And Putrefy, Scarab. I use this card in a um, um, green, uh, green, black, white deck. Green, black, uh, white control with some draw with uh, pernicious deeds and stuff. It's pretty fun. It was extended though. There's this guilt. This card was funny. When this card first came out, I think it was worth 20 bucks. It's like a $2 uncommon when it first came out. I don't know about now, but I got it in a foiled uh, tournament pack. And it was worth 20 bucks. It was really weird. It looks really nice, though. And, of course, angels look really nice. I have both from the Ravnica block. Looking at this makes me feel sad. I, I, I wasted too much money on uh, magic cards. It was an addiction. Mortifies. 
This is probably my favorite card out of the entire uh, Ravnica block right here. Debtor's Nail. Really good for recursion, and I love recursion decks. Uh, Vampiric Dragon from uh, Odyssey. Trade for that one, because I like dragons. Most of the rest is crap. Or the rest on that page, anyway. Swift Silence. It's an okay card. I, I personally wish it, it was cheaper, but because of what it does, I can understand why. This card is retarded. Simic Sky, uh, Sky Swallower. It's insane. Seven for a Flying Trample. Uh, untargetable. Can't be targeted. Spells or abilities. It's, it's ridiculous. FNM Juggernaut card. Even though I don't play Juggernaut. I love this card, Mind Slayer. This is one of my favorite cards from uh, Mirrodin Block. Total control. Well, not total control, but it was fun to play with. All right, I'm getting into more of my impressive stuff. Foiled Chrome Ox. I pulled this in a uh, booster pack a long time ago when Mirrodin first came out. I pulled it in a draft. And as soon as I pulled it, I fucking walked out of the, uh, the um, shop. Because people were hounding me for it for like weeks. At school, they're like, "Oh, trade, Evan, come on, give it to me." Blah blah blah. I'd, I ended up trade. I actually ended up trading this for something stupid, like a whole bunch of foil dragons or something. And then I wanted it back, so I traded some unhinged foil lands. And then I traded it again, and then I, I got it back in. So this pl this card's been around. It kind of has history on it. Foiled Guild Lotus Skull Clamp retarded card. FNM, Icy Manipulator. I have some FNM cards from back in the day. Okay, um, my next page is probably my best page for foils. This took me like six months to get without going on eBay, of course. Um, searching in my community for these foil cards. And these are my foil dual lands. I have one of each foil dual land from the Ravnica block. And I, 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 this might not be impressive for some, but I'm impressed because this took me a long time to get. And I actually have, uh, well, you can't see it, but I have an extra stomping ground. I got an extra one on accident. I had to trade a whole bunch of shit for this. And I'm, I'm not trading this page ever because it took me like six months. And the rest is other one. I love this card, Blink Moth Nexus. One of my favorite cards from Dark Steel. Total land, you use land destruction and some control. Then you just hit him in the face, use some creature control, pyroclasm or something. Just watch out for artifact destruction. Okay. Uh, this is a Cabal Coffer. Um, fucking, sorry, it's blurry. Use it for a mono black control, it was really fun. It was a uh, Korean Cabal Coffer. And that's about it. Let's flip through this one more time. One more time. So, like I said, this is my collection for over six years. I had another binder that had this many foils, but I ended up trading it for a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, magic you trade and sell and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll show you guys my other rares, my actual rares that I have. I don't use my foils ever. The only time I ever put my foils in the deck is if it's a big tournament. Or if I want to impress somebody or something. Like I build a type 1 deck with uh, foiled chrome mox and a whole bunch of other foils and stuff, but I prefer not to use my foils because they get damaged. Okay. And that's my foil binder for you. Foil magic cards. These are uh, big cards I have. You get them when you buy uh, the core sets. Dragon and stuff. Anyways, um, show you guys that later. Okay, so that's my foil binder, and thanks for watching.